So I'm here in the San Fernando Valley in a city called Panorama City. It's a very large Spanish community. So if I take you guys through like a walk tour through walk through tour of this area, I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So you'll see right off the back, you have a lot of signs in English and in Spanish. That's because it's predominantly a Spanish neighborhood. So you'll have that mix of English and Spanish here. But I'll kind of take you guys through a walkthrough tour so you could see what the area looks like. So you have like a barber shop, you have a place where you can cash your checks, um, a nail shop, obviously. Um, these are piñatas, these are what people do for their birthdays. They fill them with candies and they hit them with a stick. They blindfold the kid usually, and when they break the stick, uh, candies come out. It's very popular. In the Spanish cultures, if we come down this way, you'll see a lot of street vendors. Um, you'll see these vendors here selling quesadillas. Then you have someone here selling fruit. Uh, yeah, so you'll see a lot of street vendors in these types of uh, in these types of neighborhoods. So, if we walk into the indoor plaza area. Um, I'll show you guys kind of what that area looks like. So let's check out the indoor, the indoor plaza area to see, to see what that looks like. So let's take a look and see. So this is Plaza de Valle uh, or Valley Plaza in English. Benvenidos in Spanish means welcome. Um, so let's take a look and see what we have in this area. So right off the back you have, this is like a florist. You have a florist here. Sorry, you have a nails and spa. As you keep walking. Frutas, this is a lot of Spanish style, Spanish style foods. Um, just kind of showing you guys this mother's nutritional center this is kind of a breakdown of that area and then you have this place here chicharrones I think those are pigs uh, smoothies de fruta so you have this area in here as well uh, this is the different styles of foods here you can see and then more places for more quesadillas you have places here where you can buy jewelry if you want jewelry for whatever the occasion or event may be um, you come down this way this is Northeast Valley Health Corporation, whatever that's for. This is a place where you can get your eyebrows done, eyebrow treading. This is some type of a health food store. Then you have this area here where you can buy toys for whatever the occasion may be, different types of toys. This is like Spanish style clothing, Hamos Latin's dress with almost no clothing. Uh, then these are places for more piñatas, things like that. Uh, this is something Colombianas, I guess like Colombian style clothing. Then you have different items here. These are the little games you can get on and play. You've got barber shops here. There was a lady here I met selling some honey, so I'll probably buy some honey from her if I see her again. So this is a traditional barber shop, more traditional clothing, or lack of clothing, I should say. You got a Wells Fargo up here, places where you can buy shoes. And that's part one of the plaza. Then, as in with most Spanish communities, there's always a lot of kids. Spanish people love babies. They can't help it. Um, 
So this is the playground here. This is the playground area here. Then you have more, more plazas. These are some boutiques. More clothing, or lack of clothing, I should say. This is hardware sales. This is a grooming, uh, a grooming boutique, I guess. A grooming area you can go to. As you come down these areas. Oh, this is cool, custom signs. So you can get your signs for your businesses made here. It's kind of nice. You have a pet clinic. This is a community, this is cool. Like a community center. That's nice. Then you have, then you have more of this. Then if you come out this way, you come back here. You have more of this style stuff. So, if we come down this way, there's more kind of health food stuff here. This is like a herbal spot herbal spot more stores more styles of clothing for dressing or lack of dress yeah, and then here's gonna be, you're gonna have more areas to buy clothing. So this looks more like traditional Mexican Latin style clothing. Um, lots of stores here. So another toy store looks pretty large. Um, looks like a little senior citizen group, more clothing stores here. So. You come this way. This is like a little community of elderly people. So, oh, East Valley Adult uh, East Valley Adult Healthcare Center. So, I guess that's for that. Uh, then you got a barber shop here. Uh, an optometrist for eyes. You have a dry cleaners here. Uh, clothing repair. I guess you get your clothing fixed. You have churros. If you've had a churro, it's like, oh, churros are so good. I'd get one, but I shouldn't even be eating them. They're so sugary, but they're so good. Churros. Um, then you got more traditional food places here. Then you have more places here for food. Then you have pupusas, La Sierra, restaurant and nightclub, a Spanish spot I used to go to many years ago. Then as we continue down the area, you have going out of business. Oh, maybe you can find something, something nice. Huh. You got a foot spa in there. Another nail spot. Another jewelry place. And then this is kind of the end of the mall. You come through this way. You come through this way here.
Valley Credit Dentistry. You have this place. You've got a dentist office. You have more food places here. So you have more traditional style things here. So you have a donuts and bakery place. Donuts and bakery. Then you have what else you got? La Michoacana. They have some really, really good, uh, really, really good, uh, like popsicles there. It's just fruit. La China. Okay, Thai food. So that's the, such an interesting thing with Los Angeles. So here we have this Spanish dominated community, and then you literally have a place that serves Thai food in the middle of this. It's, it's so interesting how this works sometimes. Because everything else here is basically Latin or Spanish. And then you just have this random Thai place in the middle of it. So it's really interesting. And then I get, like I said, this is more of an in, uh, outdoor plaza area where people come. Um, and then they have really, really good... Uh, really